I think we're good. I think I got my microphone on. I think I got the sound on. I got my hat on. And I got the right scene on. So I think we are ready to do this shit. How's everybody doing? Everybody have a good weekend. I know I did. Beat Tom's ass and Gibbons' ass in some uh, Dune Spice Wars. Got some uh, crowns and old Fortnite. New season broke out today. Yako was playing with me this morning. Yako don't like showing up the streams no more. I don't know what Yako's deal is. Anyway. Man, girl, it is over. Can't say it's almost over. It's fucking over. Like, Mystery Sunday starts, you know Monday is right around the corner. You're going to close your eyes here in about an hour and a half, and then it'll be here. Man, I don't have a day off. Until the fucking 17th. I just realized that. I just realized that. That's kind of shitty. Alright. So, we last left off. Uh, Thomas Beloy's daughter is wanting us to help her find the boxes. Uh, we lost our box because the NSA took it from us. And now we need to find some more information. So we need to call old Gordon Gordon. And get him to give us some more deets. So are we any closer to finding Dr. Malloy? I'm confident that we're closer than when we started. Excellent. Now, what can I do for you? <laughs> All right. Thomas had a daughter named Regan. She was very young when I knew her in China. I can't say that this Regan Madsen is Thomas's daughter. Unless it's related to finding Dr. Malloy, I don't believe that I can give you much assistance. I don't remember what that even is. PB meter 3887412. As I've said, I haven't seen my friend for years, and I don't believe... Intriguing. If you find this puzzle box, I'd like to have a look at it. Well, I just figure an hour and a half is when Mr. Sunday will be over. Two hours? You gotta stay awake. Oh, crazy Gary. I just like that guy's name. Uh, so he didn't give us anything. I've said. I don't know who. It's my idea that that was the pseudonym that Thomas used when he worked at the university. The name is. Hmm. The NSA is a dangerous group. I've dealt with them before, and I have no desire to do it again. But I fear. We may have no choice. Hmm. He didn't tell us shit. Thomas had a daughter named Rick. Just that he had a daughter. All right. Um, I mean, why we got her here? What's called the old Lucia? This is Lucia Purnell. All right, let's go see if Max is there. Go see the cap What can I do for nice. you, Murphy? We got a whole bunch. Don't know anything about it. She came down to the station and asked about you. That's a good thing she vouched for you, too, or you might still be a guest here. That's all the only thing you got on me? Like I told you, we didn't find it. That's the code for the post office in the Mission District. That, why did that sound funny? Did they forget to record that line? 
All right, I think that's all we wanted to get out of that. Huh? You think I know every? We confirmed his identity before the NSA showed up. I don't know anything else about him. No can. We've had the NSA push us out of the way a couple of times. When they say jump, we start jumping and don't stop until they say so. All right, so we got to go to the mission district. You can keep that. You can keep that. Post office. I land my speeder outside the post office Mac referred me to. The counter help fails to live up to its name, but a professional loiterer working outside seems to recognize Malloy in the photo. For half a pack of smokes, he suggests I check out several boarding houses in the area. After pounding the pavement for over an hour, I arrive at a quaint brownstone called the Garden House. The Garden House, eh? Hello there. What can I do for you? <laughs> Look at this grandma. Uh, big black lie, little white lie. Let's say a little white lie. I'm looking for my Uncle Thomas. You see, we lost him last week. I'm so sorry. I forgot we can save it right here, so let's do that. In case Granny kills us. Yeah, sure. Uh, be literal, be gracious. Well, thank you. So, is he staying here? You say his name is Thomas? No, there's no one by the name of Thomas staying here. Let's hand the photo over. Here's a photograph of him. Oh, heavens yes. He moved in last week. Such a nice man. Let's be patient. She's a nice old lady. Well, I know he seems very nice. But he's really a sick man. You know... Nuts. He's got a terrible case of uh, Murphy Bar syndrome. My goodness, he <laughs> seems so lucid. Dealing with the symptoms, agree reluctantly, cut to the chase. Yeah. Well, speaking of, where is the old codger? He's not here right now. I'll tell him you came by looking for him. You can try back tomorrow. Have a nice day. Well, that didn't go very well. Maybe I should try it again. I thought it went pretty good. I'm looking for my Uncle Thomas. You see, we lost him last week. I'm so sorry. Let's be gracious. Well, thank you. That seemed to go so, right. Is he staying here? You say his name is Thomas? No, there's no one by the name of Thomas staying here. Oh, I forgot to show you guys something. Uh, hold on, though. Let's do the photo again. And then we'll know he's here. Here's a photograph of him. Oh, heavens, yes. He moved in last week. Such a nice man. Got fish. There is really no room up here for you. That's why I got this desk. Come on, no, you you, you got you got to go. Like where are you going? There's like literally nowhere for you to go, except for off the desk. All right, uh, let's be patient again. Well, I know he's. I think we lost it at the end. But he's really a sick man, you know. Nuts. He's got a terrible case of uh, Murphy Bar Murphy syndrome. Bar syndrome. My goodness, he seems so lucid. Let's agree reluctantly. You know what? Fuck it. Let's save scum it. We are going to change the name, though, now. Yes. 
That's the scary part. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, get up on a pedestal. Break down with grief. No. It's just so hard to see Uncle Thomas turning into a horrible zombie of a man. Wish you my nephew. Your uncle's not in right now, but I'll let you into his room. There we go. Wait for him up there. Okie dokie. All right, we're in. Well, this bed spread's the most startling thing in the whole room. A nice tree. The wood from this could get quite a blaze going in the fireplace. A nice tree. I was looking at the pot. Nice painting. Mm. If you go for dull landscapes. Ooh. A special wall-mounted lamp illuminating two mediocre photographs. Can we do anything with it? No. I hope whoever took these photos hasn't given up their day job. Oh, that's not very nice. Yeah, it's just a basic desk lamp. Mm, a solid maple roll-top desk. I'd kill for a desk like this. Well, maybe I just maim somebody. <laughs> just maim. All right, what do we got here? Uh, looks like a business card. Everlock titanium safes. Is that the combination? I don't know if we ever examined this. Oh, it's her number. From Cosmic Connection Magazine. I seem to remember Fitzpatrick saying something about this. I remember Fitzpatrick telling me about the Cosmic Connection magazine. Looks like a sci-fi rag to me. Okay. Can we open these drawers? These drawers look searchable. These drawers. That's what she said. Get right above these things. I'm sure there was a way to slide. Can't tell which one we're doing. Okay, well, you can't have more than one open at a time. That is good to know. Check the mantle. Okay. There's nothing high over here, right? Oh, top of the desk, eh? Hey, what up, Nibbler? How we doing, homie? Looks like the closet door. We'll open a closet in a minute. This plant looks well cared for. The landlady must give it lots of love. Well, that's a handsome antique chair. It's handsome. All right, floor looks clean. Oh, side of the bed. Where did the weekend go? What says a little nighttime reading? A book of puzzles. Maybe it has some word searches in it. I love word searches. Hmm, a collection of the Bay City Mirror's daily anagram puzzles. 
If I ever really get stuck on an anagram, at least I've got a connection at the newspaper. Hmm. Oh, if we're going to put everything back the way it was, we need to roll that down. Hold on. We didn't look at the Nice bathrooms. fireplace. All I need now is a stack of wood and Jane Mansfield. It's all locked up. Well, that won't work. Hmm. There a key somewhere? No, the lights keep this room nicely lit. Okay, nothing in the pot. If I was a key, where would I be? Oh, wrong button. Nice fireplace. Hmm. I don't know, we don't have any rando keys, do we? Uh, no. Can we ask the old lady maybe for the key to the closet? No. No, we can't. Should we call? I guess call Reagan right now. I'll have to try later. Okay. Let's ask him about the magazine, I guess, maybe. Hello, Mr. Murphy. I have a few leads. Called. I'll be happy to tell you anything I know. I don't believe I have any additional information. Thomas, as I've said. Hmm. All right, we got to be missing the key here somewhere, right? We look at this guy. We did. We looked at the bush. We looked at the lamp. We looked at the pictures, the mantle. I got no clue. What do you guys think? You guys got any ideas? Oh, hold on. While I'm thinking. So I found this. It's the original game. I'm not playing the original game. The CD's not even in here. I might have the CD somewhere, though. But this is the uh, actual big box for the game. I don't know if you can see it very well. But I thought that was kind of cool. Receipts in there. It was bought from Best Buy in 1996. 
Um, let me get my hint system up. Is that going to uh, kill our score? Because there is one built in, but we lose points. But I guess I could save it. I do after Reagan leaves. Did we talk to Emily some more? I know Thomas is in danger. I can feel it. All right, because they're married. Save him, like you saved me. I'll do what I can, Emily, but I can't guarantee anything. I feel up to answering a few more questions. Top of this puzzle book. No, thank you. Got no connection? No, thank you. What about the ETS business card? No, thank you. Okay, well, let's ask about. Thomas is my husband. Pardon me for being stupid, but let me get this. All right. Thomas didn't tell me very much about his past. What about his daughter? It's Thomas's daughter. She hates my guts. But I have no idea why. Okay, what's up with your puzzle box? The man who attacked you last night took something from your apartment. Mm -hmm. Looked like a small box. Do you know what it was? No. I mean, I don't know what was in it. I couldn't figure out how to open it. Okay, we talked. We talked to How'd them. you get it? Okay. Well, Thomas sent it to me. I don't know why anyone would want it. How did it arrive? Through some delivery service. It was wrapped in plain brown wrapper. How'd you know Thomas sent it to you? Well, I recognize the handwriting on the outside of the wrapper. Okay, so this is what got us to the wrapper. All right, look for clues. There's a book on a nightstand. We got it, we examined it. It's a puzzle book about anagrams. Try to open the closet door. Can't open the roll top. We did that. We took the business card. Take the cosmic connection and magazine and examine it. We did that. Open the middle drawer and get the envelope. Wow, we missed the middle fucking drawer. We did the fucking two side drawers. Where were you guys at on that one? I'm blaming you, Nibbler. You gotta be fucking shitting me. It's an envelope addressed to someone named Elijah Witt. And the envelope says it's a CD. Desk. I'll bet whatever's on here will get me a lead. I can run it on the computer back at the office. All right, so let's just go right to the computer room. Oh, we should have actually just went to the computer. I don't know where the computer room is. So we're going to do it this way. All 
right, we're gonna put a CD in first. I bet it's the uh, this code. Let's just pop a picture. I don't have a pad and paper nearby. All right, four eight four. Oh, we gotta put the CD back in. You gotta be kidding me. All right, four eight four nine six. Oh, let's put the dashes. I can't put the dashes. Okay. I'm out of ideas now. What else could be the code? Man, Elon Musk is on something. Okay, well this is kind of dumb. We gotta go back there. Well, that's a handsome antique chair. That's not what we're looking at. We're looking at the jeans. He wasn't here before. I guess Malloy must have come back and then left again. Waterfront warehouse. This warehouse address is 54 Front Street. That's in the waterfront area. Let's go here. Can we find Mr. Malloy? That door would have made a sound. Dr. Thomas Malloy, I presume. You're NSA, aren't you? No, sir, I'm not NSA. My name's Tex Murphy, and I'm a private investigator. I was hired by a friend of yours. I don't have any friends, Mr. Murphy. <laughs> well, what about Gordon Fitzpatrick? Fitz. Good old Fitz. I wonder why he sent you after me. <laughs> That's terrible acting. Uh, uh, oh, oh, thanks, thanks. Uh, uh, mm. Oh, oh, I, 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 I've, I've led an excessive life, and I'm afraid the bill is coming due. And he's got a hot ass wife. Now, now listen, Murphy. <clears throat> what I'm going to tell you could help Fitzpatrick continue my work <clears throat> the only catch is uh, I'll put you in the same danger I'm in don't let that stop you danger's a little like jello always room for a little more 
<laughs> ever hear of Project Blue Book? I like Jello. Sounds familiar. Have you ever heard of Roswell? Yeah. About a hundred years ago, there was an apparent UFO crash. And the government came out and said it was just a weather balloon. A weather balloon? It was no damn weather balloon. Well, it was a spacecraft. <clears throat> the Roswell incident was the greatest disinformation campaign of all time. So what was the connection between Roswell and Project Blue Book? Well, Roswell is where Project Blue Book became Project Blueprint. Now, you probably never heard about it, seeing as how you're still alive. Why do I have the feeling you're about to lower my odds in that department? Do you mind? In 1947, an alien spacecraft crashed in the desert outside Roswell, New Mexico. The wreckage was taken to the Air Force Base nearby for testing. And of course, they were looking for weapons. Hey, have a good night, Selena. Sounds like the military hasn't changed too much. If you don't mind me asking, Doctor, how do you fit into all of this? In 1984, I came on board. Hey, Baxter, Project what's happening? Blueprint. My job was to carry on the work of deciphering the hieroglyphics found in the spacecraft. <clears throat> anyway, in <clears throat> early 1996, word of a breakthrough spread throughout the complex. Now, apparently, someone had discovered that one of the alien instruments could generate minute quantities of anti-hydrogen. The big boys in Washington were ecstatic. Now, if you remember, the desert standoff was in effect, and we were looking for a technological edge over the Middle East block. Now, we had it in the palm of our hands. But unfortunately, as you know, things went very wrong. That's the understatement of the century. Well, the military was in such a hurry they didn't take time to do any testing. Instead, they started a political incident, then proceeded to bomb the hell out of the Middle East. Greatest snafu in history. Now, after the war, I left the military, but I managed to... Well, it's time to relax. All my notes hey, do you bring the porn bots with you, Baxter? I secretly continued my... Re <laughs> hey, boy, don't move! I said freeze! Don't be stupid. Put it down! Look, I'm supposed to bring you back alive, not in a body bag. Think so. No! Back off. Back off! Wouldn't the bullets have set it off? My orders were to bring in Malloy alive. But I guess that doesn't apply to you, does it? Well, in that case, be mine. You gotta love those effects. Are you are you the you are you're you're the bit pimp, huh, Baxter? Day five, the Pandora device. I don't think I. Oh, I changed the scene. I didn't want to do that. There we go. I want to do this. We never played the horns. We just I started found talking. Just in time to watch him take a bullet. I wasn't sure whether that qualified as solving the case or not. Either way, I had to tell Fitzpatrick the bad news. He comes by my office and I fill him in on what's happened. Second agent opened fire. No! I killed him. I barely got out of it alive. So for the next few minutes, I relate the events that led up to finding Malloy. But it's clear that his death is only part of the reason for Fitzpatrick's reaction. 
He's been withholding information from me since the beginning. Now it's time to find out what he knows about Malloy's work. An unfortunate turn of events. Extremely unfortunate. Well, I guess this brings our <laughs> partner. Oh, it's Haste and Ages. I didn't even read it. <laughs> what do I owe you? Seems legit, yeah. Not sus at all. Detail. To what do you refer? Look, Malloy was on to something big. He was just about to tell me until someone turned him into a cork board. I want to know what happened. But most of all, I want to know what's going on here. No. No, don't get into it. Forget this business. Take the money and walk away. It's too late. A disappointed, I'm Baxter? Already involved. <laughs> now one, possibly three NSA agents are dead. And for some strange reason, they're going to think that I'm involved with all this. And even if I wanted to drop out right now, the odds are they're going to find me and fill me with so much lead, they're going to be able to use me as a pencil. But aside from that, Malloy was on to something big. And those boxes are the key. You know about the boxes? Oh, yeah. I asked you well, about the boxes, didn't I? That puts a I? light on things, doesn't it? Hmm. Well, if you insist on staying with this, becoming involved, as you say, I've got to be able to be sure that I can rely on you, trust you, you know, this isn't the kind of thing that you can sort of dabble in and then back away. Well, normally I do have a little problem with commitment. But on this, I'm in 100%. All right. Thomas Malloy and I, scientific researchers, were working together in Roswell. No. And 70 plus is definitely in there, dude. Our friendship really developed when we were transferred to China after the great disaster of World War III. After some time, Malloy took me into his confidence and showed me what he'd been secretly working on, translating ancient alien hieroglyphics, you know, taken from the crash of that Roswell spacecraft. So you know what it is he was gonna tell me? No, I don't think so, not really. I knew that he'd been, you know, deciphering these ancient hieroglyphics, some of the symbols that were found there. The dominating symbol seemed to be, or the dominating information seemed to be, that there was a second spacecraft approaching the Earth. And there was a continuing, recurring symbol of a black sun, mysterious. He didn't get that at all. That really bugged him. Well, this is all really interesting. But it's not the kind of information somebody kills. Tex, screw your head on straight! I'm ready to believe there is a second spacecraft down somewhere on this planet Earth, unfound. Now, imagine that spacecraft filled with a technology that none of us have ever dreamed of. Imagine what someone would do to obtain that technology. Imagine what the government would do. Wouldn't it be worth killing for? It might be. You've got one of the boxes, don't you? I do, I do. Receiving it led me to believe that my friend's life was in danger. <laughs> well, then you probably know more about the boxes than I do. Variations on a Chinese puzzle box. Thomas had, oh my. Tom had maybe four, five, or six of them made to his specifications while he was in China. You know, just some kind of a novelty, I think. Do you know how to open them? No. Never occurred to me to ask. Now, what do you know about the boxes? Well, I had one. Then the NSA picked me up. They gave me a choice between giving them the box or having my brains blown out. <laughs> Recovering that box has got to be our first priority. Otherwise, I doubt we can continue. You need to get in the first easy. one. I'll see what I can do. Just one more thing. You talked a lot about trusting me. Why should I trust you? <laughs> Mr. Murphy, 
I have more money and other vanities than I could possibly ever use. My purpose in being here at the center, if there is a center to all this, is to follow the trail towards which my old friend pointed me. I don't know where it will lead, but I intend to reach that end. I guess we're in business. There's something about Fitzpatrick that makes me trust him totally, though I have been wrong in that area before. He knows about the boxes, same as Regan does, but their motivations seem to be worlds apart. I figure my best strategy is to stay right here on the middle ground. The fact of the matter is, I want to know what Malloy was going to tell me. That's my motivation. And the first step from here is to recover the box I handed over to the NSA. You have a fax. You have a fax. You have a fax. The 60-day warranty just ran out on my electronic shop fax machine. It should break down any minute now. Well, I'll be darned. The fax machine still works. All right, let's examine it. Well, it looks like my suspicions were correct. Now I'll just have to find out why Horton was posing as the Black Arrow killer. I'm good in authority that Dag Horton was an innocent agent and worked under Supervisor Jackson Cross. Neither agent is officially neither agent was officially assigned to work this part of the country, betting that they have a little something going on the side. Hope this information helps. Well, we got messages, we got faxes. Hey Tex. Hey. I hate leaving a message, but it's so hard to catch at home. I'm enjoying my vacation, though, well, I'm already getting a little homesick. I hope everything's going well for you, and, well, I just wanted you to know I was thinking about you. Yes! Score! Hey, Tex. This is Lucia Purnell. Looks like Regan isn't home. haven't done is I know we could try and get in here we're gonna move that crate what is this shit so when it looks different Arr, gonna open it. shiver me timbers it's a pirate's chest huh. what do we got oh all kinds of stuff Sword looks pretty sharp. It's probably the reason for the peg leg. Well, blow me down. It's a Lucky Pierre signature souvenir pirate hat. Must belong to the guy with the hook. Can we take the hook? That's a nasty hook. You can put an eye out with that thing. Nope, but we take the peg leg. Arr, a peg leg. I hope all the prosthetic devices didn't belong to the same pirate. Okay, now this should go through... There, right? And now we can come over here... Well, I guess I ought to turn it on. This panel must up. This panel must up. This panel must.
This panel must stop. Oh, okay, that's right. We just click on that. That ought to do the trick. Oh, what's underneath it? Looks like something fell out of Malloy's crate. It's a map. India, Senegal. Do we still have our picture analyzer? We don't. Plains of Nazca. I don't see any airplanes. <laughs> it's a rug or a wall hanging. It's a tapestry. Well, this is certainly an interesting design. I wonder what type of symbols these are. Man, that's a fucking puzzle if I've never seen one. That's all I know. Hmm, what's this? It's a crate. With Thomas Malloy. Hmm, what's this? It's a crate. This stored gear looks like surveyor's equipment. Malloy must have been a pretty versatile guy. Okay. How do we get, let's go tell her. Oh, we can't go to the Fuchsia Flamingo anymore. They took it away from us. Hey, my, Chelsea called a while ago, wanted me to say hi. So what's going on? Uh, that's the guy in the photo, right? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Mife. I can't help you. There. I guess we should go talk to Mac. Out of my league. Ah, uh, sorry, Mife. Have... Out of my league. I don't know who she is. Out of my league. What can I do for you, Murphy? Why well, does he seem so happy? Look, Mac, I need your help. I know Dag Horton was an NSA agent, but I gotta find out why he was posing as the Black Arrow Killer. Now, this could be a matter of life and death. For me. <laughs> Come on, Murphy. You know they don't tell me anything. Especially not when the NSA is involved. I'm the wrong guy to ask. Man, you gotta be able to figure out something to tell. I do know one thing. I know where they took the body. It's down at the county forensics lab. Listen, I know the guy that runs the place. Maybe I can get you in and you can have a little time to take a look around. That's it. That's all I can do for you. Oh, maybe that'll be enough. Nice. Can't help you with that. You think I know everyone? No can do. She came down to the station and asked about you. That's a good thing she vouched for. All right, so we already talked about that. What about this? 
You can keep that. You can keep that. You can keep that. To the morgue we go. For the second time in a week, Mac comes through for me. Now that's a new record for him. When I get to the morgue, the door's unlocked and the coroner has conveniently gone out for a long lunch. All right, let's save it up. This scalpel looks sharp. The well, fuck yeah, we're taking it. Nice tools. Ideal instruments to pull, poke, and prod. But I guess they don't get too many complaints. That gurney looks about as comfortable as one of those craftomatic beds. How I Did It by Victor Frankenstein. I get the feeling that evil experiments have been done here. Well, his body's gonna be in one of the coolers. Nice tools. Ideal instruments to pull, poke, and prod. I guess they don't get too many complaints. Well, it's interesting, but not too useful to me right now. With the magnifier or the microscope. microscope. The stuff in these beakers looks pretty sticky. These skulls look pretty healthy. My head's been hit so many times, my cranium x-ray looks like the tributaries to the Amazon. The stuff in the... Oh, looks sticky, icky, icky. Wow. Someone decapitated Mr. Clean. So, this is where Louis shops for his brains and eggs special. Ugh. Eyeballs. How about someone's been looking all over for these? That's funny. This is lost and found. Abby, Abby, normal. I hope someone doesn't accidentally use this brain. Man, these drawers are labeled with letters. They probably contain some personal belongings brought in with the dearly departed. Maybe Horton had something on him. Looks like it's locked. You don't see something like this every day. I wonder if the owner... I wonder... Ooh, look at here. A strap-on shoe. I deduce chicanery took place at the coroner's annual three-legged race. Someone didn't finish their sandwich. We can't take the sandwich? It's Pug. I always wondered what happened to him after I tossed him out of my office. Ah! Hold on, can we use a scalpel on it maybe to pick it? Yes, we can! G through I. There's a key. I'll bet Mr. Horton has something useful in his wallet. File cabinet key. Got a condoms. Security systems card, okay. 
Building Control, 300 West Street, San Francisco. Name, Dag Horton, passcode 377-3348. Use these pass cards to identify yourself when communicating with uh, Steelwell Customer Service Center. Send contact authorization schedule changes in writing to the above address. Counter cabinets look like they're worth checking out. This looks identical to the key I found in Horton's office. In case one of the cadavers starts playing with matches. This reminds me of one of my favorite songs. The hip bone connected to the leg bone. Refrigerated storage unit. Refrigerated. The cause of death for this guy is obvious. Dag Horton. I can't think of anyone else I'd rather see in here. A I don't know what else we should do in here. I hope the alarm hasn't been set. Let's, um, let's go back to our place. I thought we had another number to call. Sweetwell, is that the same thing? Am I wrong? Am I like losing my mind? Where is that? Yeah, no, not even the same thing. Okay. can we do with that stuff? Returning to Autotech after almost getting my head blown off the last time makes me a little nervous. There are no speeders parked outside and a cautious look around leads me to believe the place is empty. At least for now. I better work fast. All right, let's save it, because I'm kind of getting goosebumps and starting to get freaked out. Even though this ain't that kind of game, but it's just kind of, kind of creepy. And this music don't help. Well, I'll have to keep my eyes open for the key to this drawer. The game just fuck up? It did. Oh, wait a minute. You can't have caps lock on. Okay. Yeah, maybe the contents of this envelope will shed a little light. Another key.
Wow, we got all kinds of stuff. Agent Horton. Special assignment, target A, right. Interrogated and eliminated. Target B, Ellis, under surveillance, but not an immediate priority. Target C, Collins. It's a pair of that chip against fans. Target C, immediately. The doctor has gone underground and all attempts to locate have been failed. Target C has been discussed, worked with the doctor, and is the last person to have contact with him. In addition, I have acquired information on a Target D, Emily Patterson. Target D is living at the Fusca Flamingo. I was with the doctor may attempt to contact or relay information to Target D, so secondary surveillance is required. As we outlined previously, any contact with Target C and D must follow the BA the BACMO. Must follow the BACMO. This is imperative. Once either target receives a communication from the doctor, the target should be eliminated. Also, I must stress again that the top secret nature of this assignment details should not be discussed with anyone, including other operatives. Is there anything else locked? I'd better not use this vid phone. I'd better not use this. One of these guys must be Horton. Hyperpanium 360. I don't know what else we'd use that key on, unless we haven't found it yet. Hold on, what was uh, paper with numbers? 1091. Who knows about the NSA? The closet door is locked, but that NSA key, why would Dag Horton have that key? Nothing there. We come back here, look around. When I get ah. to the waterfront warehouse, I'm a little surprised to see it's still standing. From the smell of wet ashes, I'd guess the fire department got here in a hurry. They probably took away the charred bodies of Malloy and those government agents. At least Malloy went quickly. With any luck, I'll find something useful in here. If anything survived the explosion, that is. I mean, we get the big white piece of the paper right in the middle. Asian cities are printed on this piece of paper. Flight schedule seems a little too exorbitant to be taken seriously. Yeah, the box looks like it's empty. Hey! That's just debris scattered from the fire. Here's a little tidbit our government boys missed. According to this postal receipt, Malloy sent out five packages nine days ago. Okay. I guess that tells me how many boxes I'm looking for. Well, well. 
The NSA didn't get all of the boys notes. Dude, how terrible is the NSA? They missed all this shit. I wonder what this item 186 is. What's next? What did you fucking expect, bro? All right. What else we got in here, boys and girls? That lamp scrap iron. These pallets seem to be a little unsettled. It appears the NSA overlooked Dr. Malloy's safe. How fortunate for me. Everlock safe. What was the Everlock safe? The security system? No. It appears the NS. Okay, so that's got to be. combination right so let's break it down into different numbers in the two digit numbers so 48 is there a 48 there is no 48 That doesn't seem to do any. Hmm. Forklift didn't sustain. That fucking door? Chemicals in these barrels pack quite a wallop. The chemicals in man. All right, what do we get from Malloy's place? We got that business card. Do we have a new number to call? No. Where's the electronic guy? I like this guy. What can I help you with? I 
visual analyzing apparatus, Robo Co battery pack. No. Seriously, he won't talk to us anything about what we need to know. You know what? We were here before we learned how to look up, so maybe we did miss something here. Uh, nothing in here, but uh, nothing in here. Let's see, what can we do now? All right, what should we do at the waterfront? Move the box in the middle of the room, we did that. Get the poster on seat, examined it. There's five boxes, we were on top of that shit. Sheets of paper on the floor, flight schedule, we got that. There is something on the broken table, scrap paper, examine it. Something about item 86. Interesting, isn't it? Far left corner, pallets can be moved. There's a fucking safe. Are we in player mode or entertainment mode? Is there a way to know? We are in entertainment mode. We don't have any money though. This is made of crack it with some electrical device. I didn't see anything on that list that would help us. I'm afraid my credit card. I'm not interested in Geigers. Not anymore. Oh, the moon child. I got one of these and it's a real beauty. Memo pad. Jeez. A relief globe of the moon. This spacecraft looks like <laughs> the Jordy's visor. They haven't sold a single visor since I started. Memo pad. Well, they sure got a great selection of gas. Taser. Taser. Missile. Ro Those headphones sound. Those headphones sound. I used to have a battery. To so he watches. These joysticks never. Now there's utility. A radio that doubles as a boat propeller. <laughs> Why the fuck would you want that? Photo analyzer. Most of the photos. Well, they sure got a great. Uh, we don't have any gizmos on us, do we? No, we don't. Whatever it is, I hope it's 20 bucks. I don't think I'll need that. 
I don't think I'll need that. We already got one. Oh, 500 points? No. I can't afford that. I don't think I'll need that. I don't think I'll need that. I don't think I'll need that. Okay, we can get rid of this stuff. I don't think I'll need that. I don't think I'll need that. I don't think I'll need that. I can't afford that. I don't think I'll need that. I don't think I'll need that. Well, I hope my new purchase will help me out. All right, well, uh, we just spent our last 20 bucks. Um, did we miss something? I think we missed something. That is one old. The Robco Combuster. That's what we fucking needed. Fuck. We haven't even gotten any of this stuff yet. Examine it all. Oh, is... All right, then we went to. The waterfront. When I get to the waterfront warehouse, I'm a little surprised to see it still standing. From the smell of wet ashes, I'd guess the fire department got here in a hurry. They probably took away the charred bodies of Malloy and those government agents. At least Malloy went crazy. Yeah, 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 Thank yeah. Luck. I'll find something useful in here. If anything survived the explosion, that is. All right, let's go to the electronic shop. Let's examine this. I what this item 186. This flight schedule seems a little too exhausting. According to this postal receipt, Malloy sent out five packages nine days ago. The Rob Coke. The Robco battery pack is specially designed to be used with Ah, the Robco combo. Ah, uh, 50 bucks? If you need to find out a safe combination, this is the gadget for you. Attach it to the service of a safe, then turn the dial. It'll show you all the numbers in the combination. The only glitch is that it doesn't give you the exact order the numbers are used in. It's still a bargain at 50 bucks. I can't afford that. How do we get more money? Do we go talk to Gordon? Is 
Because he's bankrolling us. What can I help you with? I learned a few new things. By all means. Oh yes, I know of him. He's a respected writer in the field of UFO studies. By all appearances, he's a reclusive man. I don't believe I have... Project Blueprint was the name given to the military's analysis of the alien materials. I don't know who he is. If I'm any judge. All right, well. Looks like Regan isn't home. Man, did we fuck up? And buy something we shouldn't have? I think we might have. <laughs> That's funny. We shouldn't have given that money back. Remember we found that envelope of money? Where is the extra cash? the orphanage money to them. Some found the drug money. Oh, we weren't supposed to give Nilo money. Delayed sending over his money. Where do you find the extra cash?
All right, cash. Hey, Louis. Ah, okay. Okay. Dude, my Apple Watch never wants to uh, notify me. Uh, we're not done in um, Autotech. Hold on, let's save it because this place likes to crash. I thought I put an eight. Just seeing Jackson Cross's name makes. I don't think anyone else is here, but I don't want to take any... I wonder if Jackson Cross stashed the box he took from me and put it in here. I can't think of a better place to start looking. Looks like it's locked. Looks like I'll need to find a special card and passcode before I can open that door. We got some stuff, right? I guess the visitor's pass is only used on the access panel in the lobby. Ah, and 1091 was the code on that paper. Ah, seven seven three three four eight. Booyah. Seems to be some kind of giant degaussing machine. Uh oh. This machine encrypts objects with a security code. Hold on, we got a key. B-17. Who knows what dastardly secrets are contained in these lockers? Let's see. We saved it. Ah. Hello, box. We meet again. Is there anything else in here? Meet again. 
This time, I'm not letting it out of my sweaty little hands. All right, hold on. Let's make sure we find this money. Who knows? Oh, this one isn't locked. Huh. Probably cash from a drug bust. Nice. There's supposed to be another one we can look into. I don't know how we're supposed to find all these boxes. I think we were supposed to get lucky and check all of them, but I don't give a fuck. Huh. This locker isn't shut. An NSA ID badge. I bet I could get in quite a bit of trouble with this little baby. Yeah, I think so too, buddy. I think that might be everything we're doing here. Get that safe open. But we can't travel while we're in here? Okay. This door leads back to the hallway. I wonder what those lights mean. Could be part of a security scanner. Alright, we're definitely saving it again. That's what I thought. Oh. Did it give us a hint or anything? Foolishly, I disregard PI rule number 23. Don't ignore computerized warnings. As I step out of the evidence room, an alarm sounds, and I soon learn that all secured doors have automatically locked. After a few frantic minutes, security guards show up and teach me a lesson I won't soon forget. Were we not supposed to come in here yet? An NSA high security clearance badge. Because I think we're missing a key. I think we're missing a key. 
Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah, we came here too early. God damn it. Fuck. So, yeah, so we can't get out of here, I don't think. Uh, let's see if there's a way we out and we can come back in. Oh, okay, okay, we're all right. We gotta put the stuff we just stole. I guess I should open the door first. I guess I'll need to put something in the reader. And ah, I don't want to examine, I want to use. Well, that won't work. I guess I'll need to put some... Ah! Pack it up. How do you open the fucker up? I guess I'll need to put something in the... I guess I should open... I guess I should open the... That doesn't seem to. I guess I should open. I guess. I guess I should. That is so stupid. Ah. 1091, that's the other code we have, right? I'll need to enter a code before it'll let me open it again. It's gotta be 1091, right? I don't know what I did. How did I just do that? Oh. All right. I think we're gonna wrap it up right there, guys. Keeps crashing. I'm getting frustrated. It's about that time anyway, I guess. We've been going for an hour 45. Why don't y'all drop them likes if you haven't already. Drop some subs if you're new. I'm out.